my next guest. We're going to be talking about the comedian, activist, and health pioneer known as public citizen number one, the one and only Dick Gregory. That's the name of new Showtime documentary covering the cultural impact and many lives of the influential stand-up. Take a look at this. If I was young enough to get drafted, I'd wait till I got my induction notice, then uh, show up in the draft board, and they give you that little questionnaire to fill out. And when they got to that little section that said occupation, I would just write murderer. <laughs> That sounds funny, but you know, we got such dumb laws in this country, we would never be permitted by law to draft a murderer into the army to send him to Vietnam to kill Viet Cong. <laughs> Makes you think, don't it? Joining us now, Dick Gregory's son, Christian Gregory, and the film's writer and director, Andre Gaines. Fellas, thank you both for being here. And I give this introduction talking about the influential stand-up, Christian. But sometimes when I hear Dick Gregory, it's not the first thing I think about is him as a comedian, it's him as an activist. Is that what, where you think he falls for most people now when they hear his name? It's interesting, TJ. And first and foremost, thank you for having Andre and I. But, um, you know, Dick Gregory, you know, he reinvented, he reinvented himself. He metamorphed so many times. So depending on your age and what generation you knew Dick Gregory, it was a, it was a different man. And that was one of the joys of telling this story. One of the hardest things you could ask one of us Gregories is, what does your father do? So <laughs> this story now gives us a bit of an outlet, a bit of a reprieve. And it was just a fascinating process to just learn so much about him. So much of my dad's legacy was prior to my birth. And so I'm just thankful for Andre Gaines and just what this documentary has meant to so many people. Andre, I cannot imagine how much stuff got left on the cutting room floor. This is a life, an incredible and long life. How did you make the decision? How do you condense it down? Oh, through, through a lot of prayers and, and tears. <laughs> That's how you condense it down. You have to, you know, every film breaks your heart a little bit. And the reality is we probably had, I, I would say, maybe uh, two or three more movies that we could easily wow. have made for the stuff that we ended up leaving on the floor. It was, it was very, very challenging to try to condense a life that spanned almost a career that spanned almost six decades uh, into a two-hour documentary, but that's what the goal was, is to make one really great movie about a really great man, and, and we couldn't have asked for a better outcome, to be honest. Christian, do we have to, we always want to, uh, right, you, the hardest thing you said, people ask, well, what does your dad do? Um, do wh where does that answer come from from you in that it seems like we always try to put him into this case. He was this and he was this and he was this and he was this. But I think Andre just said he was a great man who did a lot of stuff. Um, it's impossible, and Dick Gregory would love that, by the way. It's impossible to put the man into a box. Um, loving and lovable was really mm. not just a mantra for him. It was a way of life. And each time he metamorphed, every reinvention of himself was rooted in love, fairness, justice, equality. It was a natural fit for comedy, natural fit for civil rights, and a very natural fit for health and wellness. Christian, this was a project that was started some six years ago. Um, but after the project started, your dad passed. Um, yes. What was it like to continue the process, um, to go through all of this, and still for years putting this together with him not being with you and a part of the process anymore? Very therapeutic. I mean, if the life cycle does what it's supposed to do, we all lose our parent at some, our parents at some point. But to have so much meaningful work, um, to be able to cultivate all the seeds he left and take such good care of them and wrap them up into this two-hour documentary, it was incredibly therapeutic. Christian, Andre, it is really great to see you both. Really appreciate talking to you, and I hope folks certainly check it out. They will check it out, and I hope to talk to you two down the road. All right. TJ, Thank take you good so care. much for Thank having you. us, TJ. All right, to our viewers, you can catch the one and only Dick Gregory. It is streaming now on Showtime. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.